What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video by the way. Um, you guys absolutely loved my uh, last video which did really really good actually so I just want to say thank you so much. It was a great video to end uh, the crazy year of 2020. Now we're in 2021. Uh, so let's just hope that 2021 uh, is a lot better than 2020. And uh, in terms of my channel for 2021, you guys are going to be seeing a bunch of more videos. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video. And let's get to it. All right, guys. So this is really simple. So, of course, what you want to have is a first scene, which can look like this. We can pretend that's one scene. And then we can have another scene, a very different scene. Because if they're two related, it's not going to look like a transition, right? So um, you want it to be relatively completely different okay so once you've done that what you want to do is have your first video where you want the well the first video is going to be where it's going to begin the animation so what you want to do is drag the second video on top of this one here just drag it to the very beginning we're going to disable that for now so press v on the keyboard and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the beginning of this video clip i'm going to move the playhead to the beginning and from this point i'm going to actually turn on proxy just so um, we can speed up the editing. Um, I'm also going to make a video on uh, how to speed up your workflow. So if you guys want to watch that video, let me know down in the comment section below or leave a like. So um, what you want to do from this point is select your first video. And what we're going to do is go into the transform here. So if you don't have this, just open up this window, go to transform and then go into the position, add a keyframe towards the beginning. So add a keyframe there. You could also add a, you know, if you want to be really creative and, you know, explore your options, you can, of course, add a key from next to rotation and scale. But for the time, for the time being of this tutorial, we're just going to, to uh, keep it on position. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the playhead to, I don't know, we're going to move it to around here. Okay, so I think right here looks pretty good. And then from that point, um, what we're going to do is going to go into the X axis, drag the Y and just move it to... We can just drag it to the middle or over here, but for this case, we're going to move it all the way to the end, okay, so you can't see it. So now if we go back and push play, it's going to look like that, right? Um, now what we literally have to do is just turn on the other video, okay, so enable it by pressing V, and once you do that, we're just going to follow the keyframe, so it's really simple. So what we're going to do is, before we add a keyframe, we're going to actually move the position on the X axis, so click and drag this to the left just like this um, around here and if you're on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10 or 10.4.10 and above you actually have the feature of going into crop well if you go to transform and then turn on the transparency grid you can actually see where the video is and that's a really really neat feature so if you don't have that I suggest you guys update Final Cut Pro 10 to have this feature it's not required but I think it just makes the job a lot easier so we're in not going to really focus in on this but we're just going to we're just going to go ahead and enable it for now i guess but we're going to really be working in this here so we're going to drag this to the left and just leave a gap right here if you don't see it it's simple okay if you're not on the latest version um, what you want to do is just skip or move the playhead just a little bit so you have you can see a little bit of the black so yeah go ahead and move the playhead so it's a little bit there right there and then what we're going to do is just move the um the top clip which is the next scene go to the transform and just drag the x-axis just to the left you want to leave about this much of a space now if you're on the latest version just click back on the transform here and turn on the transparency grid so you can see where, where you're going to actually place the video um, but for this case i'm just going to leave it off and I'm gonna go back to fit. Okay, and I'm going to move the x-axis around here. So once we're there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe. So we're gonna add a keyframe next to transform. So, or right next to position, my bad. And we're gonna go one frame to the left. And all we're gonna do is just keep that same length or width. Okay, so we're gonna drag it to the left. And this is just to add the rest of the keyframes towards the beginning of the video. So we're gonna move the x-axis on the position here and just drag it to the right and try keeping it relatively the same like that. Go uh, one frame left on the keyboard again and drag it to the right a little bit. I'm using the trackpad by the way around here and that looks pretty good. Do it again until the first video covers the full uh, the full screen if that makes sense. 
So do it again. And then this one, we can just move it out of the frame. So it'll look like this. Okay, so this is the very beginning of the video clip. I'm going, every time I'm pressing the right arrow key on, on my keyboard, it's going one frame forward, okay? So I'm pressing once, once again, once again. As you can see, it keeps the, the width the same. And just keep doing that until the video finishes. So what we're gonna just go to the position. And again, just keep the same width. You can eyeball it, it doesn't have to be exact. So it can be like around here. Just compare it, go left and right on the keyboard, on the arrow keys just to go frame by frame. And just keep doing that until you start seeing this. If you click on the top video, don't move it manually on here because that will mess things up. So I always suggest just clicking done on here and click back on your video in the timeline and then use the arrow keys. Okay, so we're gonna move this back here. So it's gonna look like that. Do it again. Okay, right on the arrow key. And once you start getting closer to the end like this, all you gotta do is just keep that same, you kinda have to guess, but you don't want it to go completely back and, um, you know, you don't want it to fill in the frame immediately cause then it'll, it'll look a little bit jittery. So just keep it um, one, frame by frame. So right here, I'm gonna go again. And then at this point, I might wanna move it just a little bit. You'll still see a little bit of that black edge. This is so it makes it look a little bit more smooth. And then do go again one frame and then you can go ahead and type in zero. So now when we go back and push play, you have this super easy and smooth transition. No plugins are required. Now the best part about this is that you can actually highlight both of these clips. And assuming you're gonna have, you know, like the rest of your video would be like, like this, right? Uh, so if your video is like this, it's gonna look like this probably. All you're gonna do is just highlight the two clips here, right click and create a compound clip and just name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name this transition. And once you have that, we're gonna add a letterbox. So go into the effects and you wanna go into all video and audio, type in letterbox, drag it on top of your clip or your transition in this case. And then now we're gonna move the playhead towards the beginning. For this, we're going to go with 1.70 to one for the ratio. And then we're gonna go into the border size, add a keyframe. And we're gonna go and just move this so it's about here once it finishes and then that way we can go ahead and increase the border size to the maximum so when we push play it looks like this and it keeps the same uh well of course here you would add another letterbox i would suggest keeping the same width as well so it doesn't jump up and down when you're uh, transitioning there but overall it looks fantastic so if you guys found this video helpful and relatively simple and straightforward please leave a like that just keeps me uh, motivated to keep more making videos uh, for you guys. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this one. And uh, I have another video for you guys coming later this week. So stay tuned.